Hello guys, Nato Ace here, and this will be a follow-up on my RGG Studio Summit presentation because there was another new announcement from Like a Dragon Ishin, which is a remake of Yakuza Ishin. And this one's a sad one if you prefer your Japanese game like myself with English dub. And that is, this game, Like a Dragon Ishin, will not have English dub. So you might say, wait a minute, they did it with Judgment, like a Dragon 7, Lost Judgment. What the heck? All suddenly they're not dubbing again? Like what's going on? This is bullshit. Well, the producer for this game said the reason is since the game itself takes place in the Bakaretsu era, according to the producer, it just makes sense that everyone talks in Japanese. Okay, makes sense. Very, very... Japanese culture game because again Japan's past not modern day. Okay, that makes sense to some extent However, my theory is more than meets the eye. So of course you always make these excuses Oh, this game doesn't have English dub because it says in Japan's past Oh, we can't put Yakuza game on switch because that console is for kid and family and they might be concerned that Someone playing a switch is playing a M-rated game okay weird but whatever so there is more than meets the eye so like i said in case with not having yakuza on the switch they probably are burned from yakuza 1 and 2 hd on the wii u that sold poorly it is what it is so my theory here is that because in 2023 not one but two yakuza game will be released like i said first is like a dragon Ishin, and then later on like a Dragon Gaiden starting Kiryu, which is again that game is a side story where it takes place between Yakuza 6 and 7. The question is, what about that game? Will that have English dub? And if the answer is yes to some extent, then you get your reason there. And that is, you're releasing two like a Dragon game in 2023. Ishin's gonna be early 2023, they already said in February. When's the other one? Probably September. October, November, December of 2023. So chances are they're not going to be dubbing two games at the same year. They probably have to pick which one and they're probably going to say, well, we're just going to dub Like a Dragon, Gaiden. If that gets dubbed, then you'll understand why Ishin didn't. So it's not so much that, oh, it's because it takes place in Japan's past. No, it's probably they can't do dub for both games. I mean, they probably could, but they just probably don't want to because to some extent, Yakuza Like a Dragon, good dub in my opinion, KG Tang, good. Cho Takei, definitely, I enjoyed the English dub. However, if you know that game was not released worldwide. Then Lost Judgment came. For the first time ever, a Yakuza game released worldwide with the English dub. Even I was shocked. However, it did have a caveat and that is for people and apparently i read this on the internet that the lip singing for lost judgment when you set it to english dub it wasn't as far as yakuza like a dragon apparently so i couldn't really tell because i'm probably playing it on the ps4 but there were some they said why is the lip singing so bad than yakuza like a dragon this is kind of sad and then Scott who was in charge basically said what? Well, unfortunately due to A, we had to put English dub and two, we had to do a worldwide release due to schedule challenges. That's what happened. So that's probably the reason why. So if you're doing two games in 2023, worldwide release, and then you're trying to put English dub at the same time. Yeah, it can be challenging because the fact is whether you like it or not, whether you agree or not, the fact is that some people already had said is that you can't develop, localize, and dub the game at the same time and trying to attempt to do a worldwide release. Bigger company are now learning. Pokemon Company, Capcom, Nintendo, Square Enix, Konami, etc, etc, etc. Now they're able to learn and able to do worldwide release. Falcom can't even do it as of right now. and. You gotta feel sorry for the Falcom community. Right now, I'm like reading some in the social media. They're complaining how it takes like two to three years just a game to come out to a point that they even say that, you know what, they should do what Gus does, which is Tecmo Code, which they stop dubbing games. They, again, 
they said, oh, because we can release it early. True, but to cut costs. But if cost is not a problem, then why should they do it if money's not a problem? Oh, no, so they can just release it early because there are some people who are, well, sadly are impatient. Again, and the same goes with the Yakuza community in the past. One of the big complaints was that the games are not worldwide released. I mean, you can't have your cake and eat it too, but some of these companies, they're learning. They're listening to you. Even our system works. They're trying to figure out how to release the game worldwide at the same time have English dub. Again, case to point, I want to show this example. Persona 5 Striker. The reason why it was a year later was the English dub. Why is it Neptunia Sisters versus Sister doesn't have a worldwide release? Why is it a year later? Same deal. They had to put English dub because a lot of people want that. And the people, including myself, who prefer their Japanese game with English dub as an industry standard, they don't mind waiting. Yeah, you probably, wait, don't speak for us. I mean, it is what it is. What can you do? You don't put English dub, you're going to have some people going to get pissed. Vice versa, someone's going to get pissed. It is what it is there. So, yeah, thoughts about it? For me personally, it's an unfortunate that Asian will not have English dub. But my theory probably is, yeah, well, we're releasing two Yakuza game, And we can't dub both games. So we're probably just going to dub, hopefully, hopefully, like a Dragon Gaiden. If not, I guarantee, like a Dragon 8, that one will be English dub. Because it would not make sense. Why do it on seven, but not in eight? Just saying that. So, yeah, that's my follow up on the RGG studio. Asian will not have an English dub. Again, theory probably is that because they're releasing two games and they're not in a situation where they can do it. So it sucks. But we we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe a post patch or a paid dub English DLC. Just saying that. But with that, I'll see you guys later.